What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. It's that time again to show you the top 10 Minecraft mod packs to play right now. These are amazing mod packs across many different categories and genres that will be absolutely amazing to play and provide hours of fun throughout. Let's begin. Number 10, Planetary. After many years of infighting between mankind's nations, Earth was left barren and destroyed after much war-torn years of battle. With few survivors and resources that remain, including scattered oil deposits, you have to attempt to survive as one of the last and try to acquire such resources, using the knowledge of past generations, continuing their legacy in an attempt to escape the planet in order to reunite with your friends who left long ago. This mod pack features a fair deal of quests which provide a sense of progression and purpose and a mini storyline, making the mod pack feel more rewarding. There's also a shop interface to purchase food and drinks, books and ranged weapons, as well as an economy system with money that fuels it. Don't worry, there's also an in-game guide too to give you some hints and references along the way. This mod pack is great for lovers of space travel and who want to utilise a range of advanced rocketry and technology to traverse the universe and feel like they're on a mission for the greater good. Number 9, Rebirth of the Night. Rebirth of the Night is a favourite mod pack of many, one that encompasses many of the features, themes and mechanics of survival RPG games like Terraria and Seven Days to Die. This mod pack features its very own progression system, with its own lore, specialised mechanics and arts. The whole consensus of Rebirth is to make exploring much more dangerous, mysterious and unforgiving as you felt when first playing Minecraft, as well as making exploring and new discoveries feel fresh. This means nighttime is much harsher on the player, caves are deep and dark and chilling, and enemy mobs bring a heightened danger factor. All of these things that make exploration bring a lot more excitement than the usual. If exploration and adventure, progression and survival all intertwined is appealing to you, I would encourage you to try Rebirth as you'll see a much more expanded and built upon combat system, more dangerous creatures that will mine their way or build their way to get to you, and much more that make for a truly unforgiving world to jump into. Number 8, The Last Dragon. If you're a huge fan of the Dragon Ball Z show, in its universe, you should be happy to play this pack as it will let you play as many of the races from the show, letting you train and become stronger to battle against tough enemies. The pack mainly focuses itself around the mod called Dragon Block C, a mod of course based upon Dragon Ball. This large extensive mod features a storyline, multiple races, forms, Kai attacks and an attack creator, an RPG based system with skills, weapons and scouters. There are also new dimensions with accompanying biomes and structures within. You can expect to witness brand new enemies including dragons that you can wish from. There's also a player group system and simple mini games which make playing multiplayer with a mod all the more fun. Number 7 Infinity Fabric This mod pack centres itself around adventure and combat in an RPG style in which you must craft powerful weaponry and equipment as you progress through the stages of the pack. Having the option to utilise conventional weapons or use magic spells which you can learn too. You'll be able to do dungeon crawling and fight monsters and bosses in this pack, which is pretty fulfilling. The early game starts out with getting bone tools, and the difficulty of the game will periodically and progressively increase and get tougher over time. Along with this, you should pay pretty sharp attention to your hunger levels, as well as your body temperature and moisture. These are important survival metrics. Wealth is now granted through monster slaying, meaning emeralds are no longer king. For boss slaying, the usual wither and ender dragon fights are now upgraded, meaning you can expect some changes and difficulty modifications to alter them. Number 6, Astro Block 2 Lost in Space What would happen if you were floating through space past an asteroid belt and suddenly you lost communication with Earth? This mod pack story puts you in the shoes of an explorer lost in space when Earth vanishes off the map and there's no way back. The consensus of the pack is to find a planet that's habitable and survive on it. Space Space has a series of structures floating about, from wrecked cargo ships and mining rigs, unwrecked versions which are sometimes inhabited by mobs, space science laboratories and habituated and abandoned versions of alien bases. There's lots of exploring to do in this pack and if you're a fan of sci-fi this is worth a shot. Number 5 Greg Block Greg Block is a skyblock experience which is based entirely around automation and factory based industrialization. If you're familiar with how dense and complex Greg 
Ragtech is, then you'll see a little of the same theme here. With a bunch of smaller utility mods, this pack mainly focuses around 20 core content mods, with the goal of mass automation being the end point that you have to work towards. This is very time consuming to play, so don't go into it if you think it's going to be a breeze or a speed run. The best approach is to optimise your time management and figure out a good progression path through the in-game challenges. The quest pack in here consists of around 800 total quests, with all of them relating to progression, telling you what you currently have access to and how to use it to your advantage. For unlocking and advancing through the mod pack's new ages, you'll unlock trophies and gain rewards for your efforts. Number 4, Crazy Craft Updated. This mod pack introduces a series of more than 100 brand new biomes, 5 all new dimensions akin to the overworld, the nether and the end, many new creatures and mobs mods which add more than 500 plus new creatures, many new dungeons, villages and structures totaling over 300, and more from 250 plus new mods that will offer a lot of time and hours that you can put into the pack. This is your typical kitchen sink pack, but there's a lot of fans of Crazy Craft, so this new rebranded version should entice a lot of them. Number 3 Modern Skyblock 3 Departed If you don't want any changes to recipes, but want quality skyblock experience, this pack will offer that. It features a quest based progression line, featuring over 1000 quests to tackle. There's three different modes in Modern Skyblock 3. Kitchen Sink mode, that makes it much easier to reach an OP level stage quicker. Staged mode, where progression is based in a staged tier style, that requires you to finish the previous mod's tiers in order to progress to the next. And also Gated mode, which is similar, but you must progress through all mods, and this mode cannot be rushed. Number 2, Sevtech Ages. This large scale mod pack is based upon a progression system, and it has a fair deal of content to wade through. If you're interested in long term progression that offers itself as a guideline on what you have to do, then this mod pack would likely be your style. There are some unique features in Ages. For an example, ores are dynamically hidden until you actually unlock them progressively. Items and recipes are also behind a progression wall, and mobs will slowly begin to appear as you work through the stages of the mod pack. The vanilla advancement system is used as a base to guide you through the mod pack stages, and the custom advancements let you unlock the different ages which have different stages based upon the mods within the pack. I first experienced Sevtech ages in multiplayer, and although I joined later in the progression stages, I really enjoyed when we played on this pack, as it has a large lineup of technology mods available, meaning if you're interested in factory mods and tech, you will really find a lot of fun with this pack. Better Minecraft The idea of Better Minecraft is to create a conceptual version version of Minecraft 2.0 and what you probably expect from playing such a sequel. Better Minecraft is a mod pack that has a little bit of everything. Better performance with Optifine and general additions to almost every aspect of the gameplay. It's exactly as the title promises, a better Minecraft. This mod pack aims to be a vanilla plus style experience, building off of many of the original game's mechanics and making them better and more expansive. You'll see a whole host of custom biomes with new trees, better terrain and visuals. Although this mod pack is on version 1.16.5, it utilises mods to offer the features from the later updates, such as those in Caves and Cliffs, letting you still explore lush caves, dripstone caves, and the newer deep dark dimension. The mobs in this mod pack feature everything from exotic animals like elephants and bears, or fancy creatures like dragons, and special illager types like the Ice Oliger or the Pillager King. There's a bit of everything in terms of enemies here. The structures are also a nice addition. The end cities in the end dimension are far better than what you're used to. There's the addition of pillager strongholds, which are larger settlements, and the pillager outposts have seen a big upgrade too. This mod pack boasts more than 210 mods, and it's a good feature rich mod pack if you want to see a ton of stuff to work through, especially because it has so many quests which guide you in progressing through its different dimensions. And that concludes this list of this month's top 10 Minecraft mod packs to play right now. Comment down below your favourite of these 10 mod packs I featured and why you liked it so much, and any other mod packs which you think deserve a feature in next month's mod pack video. Follow me over on Instagram at the Blue Crusader for more behind the scenes regular updates, and subscribe to the channel to be a member before we hit 100,000 subscribers, which is actually very soon. Thanks for watching. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.